position will be the finance bill that is due before parliament for debate has continued to draw mixed reactions among Kenyans and their leaders. Leaders allied to the Kenya Kwanzaa administration have defended the introduction of new taxes to finance the country's budget. This comes as those in the opposition vow to shoot down the bill once tabled in parliament, terming it as overburdening Kenyans. On the other hand, Teachers have said that they will only support the new housing tax if the government is ready to give them a pay rise. Ken Gashuhi reports. The 2023 finance bill has continued to create a rift among leaders over the proposed introduction of new taxes on Kenyans. President William Ruto's allies have defended the new taxes, saying this will save the country from accumulating further external debts. Ikiwa wewe uta kaa katika nyumba ambayo umekopa viti, Umekopa, unakopa chakula, unakopa eh, kila kitu. Eh, hiyo nyumba hauwezi kujisikia ya kwamba, au hiyo boma, hauwezi kujisikia ya kwamba ni yako. Barabara ni mbili, eh, kukopa na kuzama ama kulipa kodi na tuweze kujitegemea. West Pokot Senator Julius Murgor and the county's deputy governor Robert Komole termed the proposed 3% housing fund as a necessary pain that Kenyans must endure in the short run. Wewe fikiria riba ya trillion nane inaongeseka marangapi kwa mwaka ama hata kwa mwezi. Bila shaka muda si umrefu tutashindwa na hii nji yote pamoja na wewe utakuwa kwa sale ije kama next year wakati uchumi itakuwa imerudi mm. walimu wetu wafanyakazi wote wa county government ya national government wako tayari kukua na hizo contribution ya 3% those in the opposition have however faulted the finance bill saying that its contents will only make the cost of living to shoot even further budget must be financed but we must first utilize the existing streams of revenue and I've even mentioned, given an example of uh, ceiling corruption and then maximizing on VAT and in uh, rental income. That one will enable the government to finance the budget. And then once we, uh, we, we seal the loopholes where people get money illegally, then we'll finance the budget. Today we are buying sugar at 240 shillings. We are buying unga at 240 shillings. Everything else price is high. The level of poverty here is so bad that if you add another burden of tax on the people, you will be killing the people. The legislators urged the National Assembly's Finance Committee to review the finance bill failure to which those in the opposition will shoot it down. I'm going to vote no. I cannot burden Kenyans again. The burden they have is enough. So unless it's amended by the Finance Committee, which is responsible for doing that, then we'll support it. But if not amended, then I'll oppose it. The Azimio uh, legislators will vote against the finance bill that the KK uh, government is proposing to bring into their house. I'll mobilize on behalf of Azimio to ensure that that bill is short and does not see the day of the light. Teachers through their unions, Nat and Kupet, have also made fresh demands on their pay if they are to support the housing fund deductions. So we sat as Kenya National Union of Teachers and we said the best across the board in terms of increment to salaries should be 60 percent. Yokazi wachi wa wapi? Don't. Wacha national ingangane na vitu ya? Nation. With the battle lines drawn between the two opposing camps, all eyes are now on the parliament where the final verdict will be made. Kennedy Gashoi, KTN News. Away from the finance bill, firstly, 